Good evening. I need to, whoa, that glare is something real. I guess if I just stay right here the whole time. No, that's not gonna work either. Okay, I'll tuck it under there. It's just not quite as pretty. We have a lot to talk about as far as the S10 is concerned. Such an exciting event. Yellow pickup, hello to you too. I didn't put out any kind of indicator that I was gonna do this. No prior word, no nothing. Kyle Wright, hello, and Derek D, how you doing? Hmm. Hello, Abdullah and Cedric. Now oh, people starting to come in, awesome. <clears throat> Samsung for life indeed. Stealing cow, hey, what's up? Haven't seen you in a while. Oh, I'd say a while, yeah, something. Audrey, nice to see you. Glad you could make it. S10, S10 Plus and S10e and SM 5 g Hey, <clears throat> what's your favorite? Which one are you getting? Have you pre-ordered it yet? What's your favorite part? Hold on, adjusting, lighting. Oh God, what? That's better, a little less harsh. Hey, Landa Cibro, how you? Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you, Audrey. I I will take that as a huge compliment. Abdullah. Rest assured, if I had the financial capital to get all y'all S10s and everyone who was like opposed to it with an iPhone, an S10 to try out, I would most definitely do it. But I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not there yet. Yeah, the Galaxy Watch is okay. However, I have kind of an, I don't like ties in that much. I'm not a huge Tizen fan. Hmm. Jade. Oh, SJ. God, this chat moves too fast. SJ. That's like the best gift a man could give a woman. <laughs> One of them, at least. <laughs> but anyways. What did Beast pre-ordered the Galaxy Watch Active. It looks pretty good. That I thought was pretty cool that they changed because the Active has always been like the rectangular form factor, you know, and I'm glad that they <clears throat> kind of, they, they rounded out everything. Uh -huh, yeah. No more rectangles. So now we just have coffee in one hand and wine in the other. And all circular Samsung smartwatches. What is this ugly sticker on the bottom of my tumbler? Yes, intricate soul MST, absence thereof. Don't know why they did that. Like, that's one of the only things that I use Mark Samsung S3 for is mobile payments. And it's the it's the it's the iPhone user shut up tool, you know? You do that at a payment terminal and they're like, oh, we can't do that. And then beep, and you're like, oh, whoa. Yeah. Or or when you insist that it does work, and then no, 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 hold on, hold on. And then it still doesn't work. Every now and then it doesn't work. That's embarrassing. <laughs> what will be different from the S10, Abdullah? What do you mean? Um, wait, hold on. First name, what should you call an eye sheep who always says Apple's better than Samsung? Wrong. <laughs> Maybe a bit narrow minded. I'm looking through the comments because I can see like, wait, like this much at one time and they're big. What do I think is the Note 10? Hmm. I think that they're gonna put the live bokeh effect video recording capability like they have with the S10 5G. 
onto the Note 10. That just makes sense. And it's going to have the in-display fingerprint reader. And it might even have... No, I don't think it'll have three front-facing cameras. Nah, nah, that's too much. That's too much. I don't think they'd make that drastic of a change in one year. Hold on. I lost my place. Let me scroll up a little bit more. Matt Reloaded. <laughs> Left her with Android. That's funny. I hope the breakup didn't go too crappily because breakups are never a fun thing. Next thing, Galaxy. It should be a folding Galaxy on a wristband. That would be pretty cool. But, excuse me, we'd need flexible batteries for that, and we're not quite there yet. What Samsung phone do I believe will end up having the new Infinity display first? I thought maybe the Note 10. Lesserian. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, Lesserian. Maybe. Um, spent Soul ultrasonic scanner working with screen protectors. Mm, I think... Oh, there's so many comments. Oh. <clears throat> I think that as long as the screen protector is making direct full contact with the screen, I don't see that, that much of a of a danger of it not working. Although it's the first time ever there's been an ultrasonic fingerprint scanner on a cell phone, so I could be wrong. Okay, first name. Should I start a gaming channel? Actually, my Little brother Kyler, he games all the time. All those that commented after the one I just answered, up until Christian Nalo's asking or saying love from the Philippines, I just skipped because I'm going to try to keep on track with it. So feel free to ask again. Ask again if I missed it. Hello there, Christian. Yes, hello there. YOLO, have you seen like this camera work yet? Because I mean, I've seen in-store demo units, but of course they're not going to let you register fingerprints with it. Is it is it that fast? Shaways, yes, it will kill the iPhone. The S10 has already killed the iPhone. The new iPhone hasn't even been announced yet. I don't give a fuck what you say. <laughs> Pardon my language. Oh, okay, yes. The broke social exclusion rule created by Apple users. I know exactly. God, that green is a little harsh. I know exactly what you're talking about. For real. Because yeah, and I tell you, the Note 10 will not disappoint at all. <clears throat> I think it's the one you're waiting on, actually. But, damn, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. Social exclusion rule. This is mostly prevalent in middle school and high school because like i mean think about it when you're a kid and wait this is not focused there we go when you're a kid and you're in school in the educational system for those of you who are in homeschooled like myself you, that that school is your life like that's the whole world to you and if you get socially excluded or made fun of in that so in that world then that's the end of it like my life like, how many times have a high, has a high schooler said that when something extremely embarrassing happened to them? There's a reason why I say that. It's a part don't have to talk to people. <laughs> Audrey, students in my university care much less about what phones you use in, than middle school and high school. Good. Maybe because they're maturing. <laughs> but seriously, in the, <clears throat> the young and impressionable age, if you don't have iMessage, or, I mean, you've, you have all seen the shame and the shade that has been thrown at green bubble users, as they like to call them. The, the, the shame's real. Like the, what's the word? The stigma is real. Like people hate green bubbles and people say they will not talk to you if your, if your shit comes up as green bubbles. Like, that is, it's a thing. So, yes. And it pisses me off. It makes me mad. God. Finally. Jesus. <sighs> Don't know what happened. God. There goes the, the, almost the entire audience. That's fan-fucking-tastic. That's really great. <clears throat> Uh, 
Interesting. I didn't know that all the other, the three other live chat live streams broke. Hmm. Well, don't know what happened. Thank you, Rashid. <laughs> no, no, it's actually not the. You're not the only one. Like the the entire YouTube app just froze. To be totally honest, and I don't know what happened. But all is well now. I hope until the next time YouTube decides to not figure its life out. Where were we? Pope, Yolanda, Stephen, one of the one of the reasons why is that no more content's coming for me. <laughs> As far as when, as far as the live stream. God, my train of thought is not cooperating. Sleepy Panda. Yeah, I went from the S10, S7 Edge to the Note 5, and then to the S8, and then to the Note 8. So I kind of like skipped back and forth. And now it's time to have a smaller phone again. Just because it's I'm, it's big it's wide it's nice and the, and the s pen is like the best stylus that ever lived but it's wide and i miss the phone i miss the form factor of it with the power inside the smaller package i like that rashid pinky pains that's funny rashid it's actually called wolf mother i think speaking of which this is all i have I have to get some more soon. Extreme Ham. I will have an S10. I don't have any of the new ones yet, but I pre-ordered it yesterday. So it should they say it's gonna be here by March 8th, and I really I'm kind of banking on that happening because when it arrives, there will be an unboxing and a review and then a series of other videos that detail different parts about the phone that most other reviewers probably won't touch on. Sleepy Panda, I, I understand too. I, I get that. <clears throat> about the big Oh, thank you, grouchy coffee guy. I was that exact same person like five minutes ago. Oh, like I'm glad this stream had cut off audio because I was like, because there's no reason for the YouTube app to just <laughs> like that. However, I guess. It's a, oh, Galaxy Buds Spencil. That's a very good question, actually. And I'm hoping because I didn't pre order the phone through the Samsung website, I'm hoping that whenever I get the receipt, when I get it from ATT, to whom I am switching, because Verizon, number one, turns off Samsung Cloud, and I don't like that. And number two, isn't on board with RCS. And I'm like, why would you guys not be on board with RCS? Because T Mobile is, Sprint is, and ATT is. Or like one of the biggest, if not technically the biggest by a very small margin. There's no reason why you shouldn't have RCS support yet. But where was I? Oh yeah, get the receipt from that and then do the shop Samsung app and say, yes, I pre-ordered. It just wasn't through y'all. Where are my buds? Because I would most definitely use those. And I think you should get them. Because I like the, excuse me, I like the... Hmm. The wireless earbuds are the same as everybody else. And now I like the fact that number one, they come free. And number two, they're only 130 versus Apple's $20 more expensive model. And they last longer than Apple's too. And if it runs out of battery, I'm just going to pretend this is my phone. Dude, that's going to be stupid. Yellow, I, I am honored by that. Thank you very much. I'm glad that you think so and that you enjoy it. Yeah, scratchy coffee guy. Verizon disable Samsung Cloud. They're like, oh, that little thing? Nope. You can't have that. You can't use that. Use Verizon Cloud instead. And I'm like, no. <laughs> Sleepy Panda, I like it too. And especially the fact that it can... That it can into something bigger and I, I don't even 
we might go into the into like griping about the galaxy about people griping about the galaxy fold because that's annoying to me. I don't know why the, the somebody asked something. All right, Lucifer, thanks for showing up, man. Have a good day with or have homework tomorrow or have a good day tomorrow with school. There we go. Somebody said what? Jared Feldman, I don't know actually what color I'm going to get. I'm not sure which ones are available to me or if I'll have the option to pick. Maybe I will once I go to redeem that, that pre-order special. Oh yeah, what do I think the base pricing will be for the S10 plus 5G? What? 1K with one, with one terabyte per 600 flat rate. 10S plus or S10 plus, excuse me. Oh my God, I almost I like committed sacrilege just now. Price for the S10 plus is a thousand with a one terabyte for 600 flat rate. I'm not sure I understand the question, Yanda. Oh, Jared Elder School Studios, thank you super much. I'm honored. Yeah, John Paul Barron, I've I've seen I've had so many people say you should do a, a debate with Taylor Swift. And it doesn't help that his name or the name of his channel so closely resembles my name, like my actual name. I don't know. Like, it, it could happen. With all the demand that's building up steadily over time, it'll probably happen in the future. I just don't want to, I don't know. I just feel like, I feel like, uh, I don't want to make a big deal out of, out of like, two creators fighting each other. <laughs> Although people, like, People, there's a reason why people go to UFC and boxing and stuff. Just like, oh, this guy's good. This guy's good. Imagine if we throw him in a ring together. You know, I, I totally understand that part. Let me, get, let me catch up real quick. Sprint allows Samsung. Yeah, cool. Good. 1800 for 5G. Stream him. I don't know. Did they even talk about the pricing to of the 5G, the S10 5G? Whoa. Sleepy Panda. Even he said he was switching to the S10? That is huge. Oh my God. That's like, that's like, that's like, I need to rebrand my entire channel huge. That's insanely big and awesome, actually. <clears throat> Panda S plus is 16. Yeah, that's true. The Emperor. I will have to disagree with you, sir. Not, I don't know, I don't want to say either one is better than the other. It's more like one is, hmm, it's more like, hey, huh. oh, some phantom boy, you don't want to see the rest of my studio. <laughs> like this, this little section that's in the frame right here is the cleanest part, I swear to God. <laughs> I agree. I mean, I believe it. She apples and oranges. Yes. Thank you, Emperor. I was I got sidetracked by somebody asking me for a studio tour, but since they paid me two dollars, thank you very much. By the way, I'm gonna here. Let me move this bowl real quick. <laughs> and this plate. Okay. So. There's Phoebe's ivory tower. I like to, she likes to sit up there and chill out while we're doing video edits. And there's the desk and the camera. I'm actually using a cell phone now. Very, very messy, very clean. This is why I said this is the cleanest part. Let's see. Actually, let me just flip the camera around. That will work nicely. There's the two computer screens. There's the keyboard that's moved up out of the way because tripod. There's the, the obelisk is what I like to call it. That's what helped make the room smell better. And that's pretty much it. There's the glowing moon. Other than that, there's the studio tour. <laughs> it's very small. But it makes it look like I'm in this really cool dark room that's just... 
Da 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 da. da. Oh, okay, everything Apple Pro is doing it for a week. Oh, okay. All right. That makes more sense. Excuse me. Let's see. Phoebe is a queen. I'll dream less than the bed. You haven't seen the rest of the room, though. Like, <clears throat> Yeah, Grouchy, I kind of, I tend to agree with you with, about, about Star Wars. Jazz, baby kitten is not in the room right now. Thank you very much, uh, Emperor. I'm very glad. The jobless gamer life. Pigeon, I see you. I definitely see you. And don't die. One hand gaming. Hello. DPDS. I'm so glad that you're switching to the S10. TG, TG Staff. I am quite good, actually. How art thou? Any experience with Dex? Extreme Ham. I don't. I wish I did. But even if I, well, I guess I'd have to get a dock. Yeah, I'd have to get a dock. Because I will either a dock or an HDMI to Type-C adapter or cable itself. Then, dude, I could use, <gasps> I could use DeX on that monitor and then keep that one for the regular computer. That would be badass. Sleepy Panda. Yes, there is. It's called Smart Switch. Is it actually specifically designed? Well, not specifically, but one of the the developers specifically put an ability in there for it to read an iPhone and then grab everything off of it, and then provide you with a list of apps to download that are the closest equivalent to the ones that were on the iPhone that you can't or that are not cross-platform. It's pretty pretty cool, actually. UTR Live. Thank you, sir. I sincerely appreciate it. Do you think the fold should be bigger once unfolded? It's over seven inches. Oh wait, is it over seven inches? Like six point eight, right? Or is it seven point two? I think it's. I think it was seven point two. Mm. 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 Rashid, yes, you're right. EKG in their in their smartwatch. I don't know. I think it'd be wise to just because so all you hear all this good news about people praising the Apple Watch when it's got all the EKG stuff in it. Um, I think that it does. I know people are saying good good things about the Apple Watch, and that's really like <clears throat> as far as qu product quality. If I were if I were, if somebody put a gun in my head and said, "What's the best Apple product?" I'd say the watch. Subscribe star. Never heard of it, actually. Version of the S10, I'm going to get Noxtail. I'm going to get the S10 128 gig version because, I mean, the S Pencil 7.2 or 3 about for the unfolded version of the fold. With the, okay, with the S10, I'm getting the 128. Cool. Fixed it this time. Yes. <laughs> Just ask me. Yeah, YouTube did die again, but this time, this time I got you. Me, I do I like better now than I do on my camera. TG staff could be. Wow, I hope not, because there's a lot of digital going on with this camera. I'm just using the front-facing camera on the Note 8, and then there's this monstrosity that supposedly does a much better job. But yeah, if it looks better, it's good. What case am I getting for the S10 Emperor? I have no idea, actually. Good luck downloading official Samsung Apple II. YOLO, yes, I do. And I didn't, oh God, I gotta stop reading comments while I'm trying to answer questions. <clears throat> I do have good luck installed and it does not let me, because one of the main reasons why I wanted to grab it after I got one UI is because I wanted to change the vertical recents to back to the card sliding style that it used to be. And it doesn't allow you to do that. At least not in the version of One UI that I have. I still have one version of the beta because I got a cracked version off the internet. No way. 
It comes with a case in the box. Ultra Sticker. I have rooted lots of my phones, actually. But, oh, and tell your dog that I said hello as well. Okay. I have rooted lots of my phones before in the past. But then, DJ Blue, you are new? Hello. Nice to see you here. I have... Actually, no, MS Xavier, the, the one-handed operation app does work. I still have bars on either side of my screen that allow me to swipe this way to go back. That still works, and that's still great. But good luck. It'll still function, but it doesn't have all of the features that it had before One UI. Not yet. When I get the S10, I will download good luck again and see if there's, number one, an updated 2019 version, and number two, if, if I get all the stuff that I got for before One UI. Let's see. I'm very glad, Sleepy Panda. Excuse me, Prism Black or Prism White? I'd go with Prism Black, but I don't know. The Prism White looks good and all. Hold on. There we go. Prism White looks good and everything. It's just, it's very pearlescent. And I've never been keen on the idea of a white or white if phone. But that's just a matter of preference. What I really, really want is the green one. But alas. We don't even know when the hell that's going to be available. Hey, Jared, thank you so much for the super chat. I am, I am greatly appreciative for sure. Yeah, TJ, there is definitely something go going on with my internet. I'm also in the furthest place away from the router that you could possibly be. So there's that. Hey, Don Bon, what's going on, man? Good to see her. And yeah, either the biggest fool or you just care more about being blue, not green, <laughs> than the mountain of other things that Android gives you that an iPhone does not. Can't see much fingerprints on them. That's true. That's true. GT long? Yes. And Sleepy Panda, it feels like a new phone. Is you, are you talking about working with Good Luck or with One UI? Or both, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bossy Bear, I totally get it. I'm gonna, I'm would really like, I'm gonna have it naked for a while. And then later, I'll put some clothes on it once I find ones that I like. <clears throat> Alice Rudd just found the channel. Thank you, man. Very pleased and happy to have you here. Glad you showed up. Miss 9 Plus or S10E? S10E all the way. S10E all the way. Smaller size. Actually, that's about about the. Bleh. That part's subjective, but the S10e, I don't know. I was really tempted by it, really tempted by it. I mean, you have the, you get the same processor, you get the same two cameras, and you the only one that you don't get is the is the telephoto zoom. And I hardly ever zoom with my phone camera, period. But you do still get that 123 degree wide angle lens that I would most definitely use on a regular basis you get a slightly smaller battery, like one or 200 milliamp hours less than the S10. You get a flat screen. I think I already mentioned that. But a lot of people, if you ask them, if you ask them, like, do you like the curve? Like, do you like the curves on the Infinity Display? They're going to be like, no, nah, I don't. I feel like the S10e is going to sell really, really well. Number one, because it's cheap. Number two, because it's a flat screen, probably most importantly. And number three, because it's it's very very close and comparable to the we back okay cool and yeah i think the se is a way better decision than the s9 plus razor 22 gaming first of all my sincere gratitude to you gratitude to you thank you for the super chat and the Tab S5e, the Tab SEs, wait, oh, okay, so there, there's three different tiers, Tab S, Tab A, and Tab E. Tab E has always been like the kind of like low end, very cheap, low performance, like if you just want a cheap tablet, there's one you get. And so when they're talking about the Tab S, like up here, 5, E, it makes one wonder, like, is it coming from here up? Or is it coming from here and just being, hey, kind of cheaper? 
or is it just being like a smaller version? I don't know. It's the the naming classification is a little confusing to me, but I think, I mean, I think it looks gorgeous. I have not handled one for myself, and until I do, actually, there's been there was a gentleman who might actually be in here. I'm not sure what his what his YouTube username is, but he told me that I have a way to get the S5e when it launches. I'll say it like that, and there will be a review of it, and I'm kind of excited. I'm looking at the comments again. Hold on. Add the gun. That's that's pretty off topic, bruh. <laughs> what a, me and Xavier, we call me Elsa for. Sleepy Panda about the about the phones retaining their value. Maybe that's why those phone Android phones deprecate in value faster than iPhones do, just because there's so many different kinds of it. <laughs> hey, Ken B, how you doing, man? Good to see you here. Oh my God, Xavier, that was pretty. All right, that was good. That was good. That was funny. I laughed on the inside and on the outside a little bit. Note nine or S ten E. S ten E because you've got that extra power in the processor and the wide angle camera. I mean, really, at that point, you're you're working off of preference anyway. Because, I mean, if one lacks the pen of the Note 9 and the bigger size, they're obviously going to go with that one. And if one just wants, I want the most powerful phone, the S10e has a more powerful processor than the Note 9. And it still has a 2K AMOLED display. And Brendan Smith, what I think of the Tab A, I think it's perfectly good. It's like, it's a really good mid-range, big tablet and oh and, and you said it's great for note taking so i'm assuming that you got the one with the s pen and that is awesome especially since the s pen slips inside it versus you get the tab s3 that doesn't have the s pen slot so it's like oh no i forgot it oops or whichever s10 pre-order giving 130 dollar e-voucher for Alex Red, I would. I'm assuming that's just for those who get the the Galaxy Buds. Mm. To allow <clears throat> those to get Galaxy Buds, do they even let you use that for anything else? Eric Shoemaker, no worries about being late, man. It's cool. I'm glad to have you here. Ha. S8 or iPhone X, jobless gamer life. That would be the S8 all day, every day, no question. Unibrow notch. <laughs> $5. Oh, wow. Diamond Heat. Dude, thank you very much. Actually, yes, Diamond Heat 9. I left that number off the end of it. Very, very, very much appreciated. Like that's like I'm, I'm. These kinds of super chats are, are are surprising the crap out of me. I had no idea that that there'd be this many. I'm humbled. Then offers the Prism Green SP, despite Samsung. I ordered the S10 Plus ceramic. <laughs> right? No, sure. Yeah, man. Like, uh, where the hell is the green? They you they they have to know that if they made the green available, it would sell like crazy what's the problem there was a there was a, a green or emerald green ish um s6 when they launched somewhere on this planet couldn't get hold of them unless you like didn't live in the u.s or something and even then i don't even know if it was available can be s10 5g i think it's going to sell it's a niche thing most people in my opinion will get what they need out of the 10 lineup with the S10 plus. But it, I mean, there's also a lot of like negative hype going on about me in general. Oh, it's cancer. And is it probably more intrusive or invasive, maybe even harmful to human cells? Yeah, probably just because it's higher frequency, this and this and this. I'm not like immersed in the science of all that, but do I think there's a slight risk? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. I kind of want to withhold comment on that just because I don't, I don't know. 
but do I think it'll sell more than the other ones? No, I don't. Like it's to me, it's one redeeming feature or two redeeming features, I guess, is that it has a huge freaking mungus battery and it can record video with the like blurred background effect. That's something that the S10 Plus can't do. And I think a lot of people will want it for that, but all, but those people are going to be like video people like me and others on this live stream that do video, but not everybody does. Not everybody cares about that. Not everybody even knows what the bokeh effect is, even though they use the word all the time. But anyway, Emperor, what do I think of Teles of Tech? I find his camera presence to be annoying, and I obviously do not like what he stands for. As a person, I'm sure he's fine. But I, I fucking hate what he represents. <laughs> but he probably hates what I represent, so whatever. Samsung. Yeah, you can. Totally agree. How much do you think the Note 10 will cost? I'm thinking 1100 Me, 1100 to 1300 probably. Sleepy Panda says, tell us if text is too petty. I, I, the yellow color, extreme ham. I think they put the yellow color in there to attract the little ones. Because there's really like, who would get a phone that color? Ew, it's like mustard. But that is subjective. Two dollars. Thank you, Alex Rudd. Super appreciate it, man. Got my S10 Black Gradient in 128 gigabytes. Yeah, dude. Like I'm gonna be, I'll be right there with you with the the S10. Although, see, I haven't seen. Well, I, it's kind of silly. I pre-ordered the, the Prism Blue version, but I haven't seen it in person yet. I don't even know if I've seen pictures of it yet. From what I can tell, it's not actually. You know what? Let's look that up right now. Boop. I'm about to look up the S. Ah, uh, the S10. Oh, Gary V's is a beast, by the way. Y'all should totally give him a look if you get a chance. Let's see. Here. Oh, okay. So I mean, it's it's pretty. All right. Cool. Cool. I'm cool with that. Although it does look a lot like my current phone now, but still, yeah. Samsung, yeah, I saw that. And it's so weird calling you Samsung because I know that that's not actually who you are. But yeah, I saw that. And, and I also heard that it was only for a week. Eric Shoemaker, how much RAM you really needed a phone? Yeah, I asked myself the same question. It's like, hmm, you know, the, the Fold has 12. No. I understand them putting 12 gigabytes of RAM in there. Wow! Me, Xavier. $10 Super Chat. Thank you. What am I uh, excuse me, most looking forward to? Hold on, it's disappearing. There we go. Most looking forward to about the S10. It's disappearing again. Also, or the one terabyte white ceramic to teach Samsung to offer more colors. <laughs> most looking forward to about the S10. That's... That has to be the 1080p slow motion. And for those of you who didn't already know, I, I had it confirmed that the slow motion mode, not super slow-mo, but slow motion, you know, the more useful one, does indeed board in 1080p. Let me tell you what I have to do right now if I really want that 1080p slow-mo, because this thing doesn't do it. That's 720p. 120 frames per second. Can't do it. So the only thing I have to record 1080p in slow-mo is this thing. So let me show you what I have to do. If I have to be like, oh, this would be great for some slow motion. Hold on. So I have to grab the bag. Go like this. Oh, okay. Well, let's just take off the gimbal guard here. We gotta do this, right there, and then turn it on, and then okay, gotta wait for the props to start to stop twitching around, and then gotta wait for it to load up, and then I have to. Then I have to pull the phone out and then open the app and connect it and blah, blah, blah. And, and then I have to use the phone as a viewfinder while I move this thing around. Ooh, slow motion. To be able to... To be able to... <clears throat> uh, to just pull the phone out and be like, bloop, bloop. Mm -hmm. Slow motion. That is going to be 
huge. I'm super stoked about that. That and Instagram mode, to be totally honest. Not that I'm like a, a diehard Instagram fan, but I, I find that super significant and impactful because like what other phone company was like, hey, people are on social media. That's like the state of the internet right now. That's where people spend their time on when they go online. The majority, the vast majority. So, hey, hey, Instagram, come here. What if we put a camera mode in our phone that tied, like, mainlined into your app? Yeah, sound good? They're like, okay, you don't see Apple doing that shit. God, like, that's, oh, that's so cool. Number one, the fact that it's there and the, the useful, like, the practicality part of it. And number two, just the fact that they did it. Like, who, who goes to the to the social media platforms and be like, hey, let's partner? You don't see that very often. Extreme ham about watching YouTube with no cable. There's really not a need to have cable anymore. YouTube, Netflix, boom, there you go. Cyber Gen Zero. I hate Apple too. We have something in common. Let's see. Hey! <laughs> Two no. Oh no, you're paying me to hit the red button. Maybe. Like, I, I won't hit the bell just because I'm not, I don't even know what he does anymore. I'm not, I don't subscribe to gaming channels just because I don't have time to watch. Like, the only, the only YouTube that I really watch is Gary Vaynerchuk. That's pretty much it. That and, and Alan Watts put to music. <laughs> but... The Emperor, thank you very much, man. Love that you were here. Appreciate you for being here and have a good sleep. Yeah, he does memes now. Hmm. Rick Salazar to beat T-Series, we're losing. Uh-oh, so T-Series actually like over... I do not want this to turn into a Pewds versus T-Series thing. But I didn't know that T-Series was beating Pewds. That's interesting. From across the pond. The Jobless Gamer Life, it is in. Intensely satisfying to hear that the Galaxy AirPods are doing better than the wait, the Galaxy Buds, excuse me, goddamn. I was I was reading the whole comment too quickly. I just committed sacrilege again for the time of this entire stream. But yes, it feels extremely, extremely good that they last longer and the case can wirelessly charge. Apple's like um um I message. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, oh somebody just <gasps> Yolanda Cibro Pericord Design. Thank you. Again, like you're already on, you're already a, a beamer or super beamer, one of the two on Patreon, but the super chat right here. Thank you very much. Instagram mode is what I need right now for my content. The issue I face when I take, whoops, it's disappearing. When I take, Pictures of my bracelet set designs doesn't transfer over very well and I have to resize all the pics. Exactly. Now, the way it is right now, you can, um, there is a way to change the ratio before you even take the picture. But still, you know, taking out even that step, because like I've said in a, in a video in the past, there is no small thing about a smartphone. There's just like little tiny things can be deal breakers to some and like not even pop on the radar of others but being able to just open up that like slide from you know past video photo ah, instagram and then bloop, or video or whichever and then be just posting it straight to god it's gonna be awesome there's there's no resizing needed and you i don't even know now i didn't they didn't really demonstrate it that much in the during the keynote but I don't know if you'll be able to apply Instagram's filters to it before you hit the post button or if you'll be able to post it for without leaving the camera app. That would be cool, too. But, yeah, it's it's like pimping. Scrolling up, 5G causes cancer. Yeah, Samsung, see, that, that's what I was talking about before. I don't know. Like, I know that people are saying that cell phones cause cancer in general. So... Hearing about 5G causing cancer, it's not really, that's not surprising to me. But until more extensive studies are conducted on it, then 
Jared Elder Studios. How do you become a Scotty? On Patreon, the Scotties are the people who pay $10 or more per month. And when I say or more, I mean you can go on there and people choose like 10 is minimum and then you can choose to pay more. I haven't had cable since 2002. Diamond Heat, yeah, right? All right, yellow. Have a good one, man. Of the Galaxy S10. What do you mean, Christian? The symmetry of the frames. Audrey. <laughs> that, like that, pretty much. Or it is in toothpaste, spent soul, but you don't drink toothpaste. Eternal trick. Do you think it's a good idea? Samsung removed the jack on three devices so far and embraced the notch on two phones. Ah, <laughs> finagle the bagel. What's worse than cancer? Apple's excuses. Love that. <laughs> or Apple users' excuses. Those are even worse. Let's see. What's? Do you think it's a good idea that they removed the jack on three devices so far? I thought it was only two. The M and the Fold. But either way, three or two. Uh, about the about the removal of the headphones, I like I'm like I tell everybody in the comments when I were going in and reply to them. I want to see schematics on the fold itself. I mean, I know that's probably not going to happen, but being able to like see this is why they had to put this here and take this out because if they had left that in, they would have had to sacrifice something else that people would have bitched about. You know what I mean? I feel like that's the reason because well, I mean, why would they? Maybe they thought, oh, not many people are going to buy this. So we'll go ahead and take the headphone jack out of it. And then by the time people get it, they're like, oh, I spent so much money on this already. Then I'm just thankful that I go, oh, but the fold, but the fold. Like, I don't know. Maybe. I, I mean, obviously, I, I wish they hadn't. But I'm also very, very glad that they kept it in the S10s. Alex Redden, seven to Peter Pie with two accounts. That's funny. We have about eight minutes left in this whole thing. Extreme, yeah, perfect shot setting in the camera, for sure. And at first I was like, oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. Because I'm thinking, oh, they're just going to try to flex their AI muscles and and get this, that, and the other going. And, but when they said that they had reviewed over 100 million professionally taken photos and then like applied the data that's in them to the whole perfect shot thing, I'm like, oh. So that's, they've actually tried to try to use real world data Intimidate XL. What do I think about the active phones? I kind of wish that they stayed around, but I mean, the only reason why that why they <clears throat> wouldn't have continued selling them, I think, is just because they weren't selling very well at all. So it became not worth it, and more expensive for Samsung to to make them and supply AT and T with them, just than it was to just not have it at all. I just scrolled past a lot of people questions because if I try to answer every one then I'm just I'm never going to catch up what speaker system do they have in the fall yeah beyond uh, I don't know actually so depending they are better than airpods 5g hardware Joe Schmo the one they had to remove head maybe that is maybe that's true but didn't they have the headphone jack in the s10 5g version Sleepy Panda, are the new Galaxy Buds actually out? Intimidate XL. I think it's it became more expensive for them to make them and keep them supplied, keep AT&T supplied with them than it was to just not make them at all. Gazelem. Gazelem? Gazelem. The Galaxy Buds. I fully intend to try them out and and supply the internet with reviews. And these right here are just talking about. Oh. Do you think that they should have made the Galaxy Fold a little bigger? Eric Shoemaker, eh, no. I think, oh, I missed one. Here we go, $5. Oh, damn, Sam Squinch. Would have been interested if I just got done streaming. Hey, stream has got a stream, man. Beam has got a beam. Oh! But thank you very, very, very much for that $5 super chat. Super, super grateful. Wide angle camera will be used more by me than the tele yeah, Alex Rudd, I totally agree about the wide angle camera versus the telephoto one. Totally do. Oh my God. 
$20 super chat just got dropped by Diamond Heart. Diamond Heat. I keep on wanting to put an R in there. Sorry. Diamond Heat 9. Contemplating getting the He said, oh, so he's a super beamer. Awesome. Sweet. Thank you for that as well. Contemplated getting the one terabyte, but decided against it. I also want the Note 10, so I will splurge on that one to replace my trusty Note 4 if they keep the jack. If there was... In my opinion, if they were to to remove the jack on the notes, I think it's going to be next year because they've there's already so much. <clears throat> I don't know. I just can't see taking the jack off of the. I said the two words together. Damn it! I can't see them t- taking the jack away from the note in the same year that they the S line with the headphone jack. It just I don't think it'd make any sense at all. Especially since they didn't take the jack away from the 5G version. Keep the jack, man. And I really I really hope the Note 10 keeps it. Maybe maybe next year. Oh, bye, Andre. Thank you for coming. Maybe next year. Uh, they'll take it off. But <laughs> S10 plus 5G jar fun. <laughs> Actually, it'll probably go to rent. <laughs> no, rent for next month because I won't see any of this stuff till March 21st, I think. But it will definitely help with bills or of some kind. <laughs> I am like, my heart goes out just way out to y'all. Thank you so much for everyone who's, who's throwing money at me. I'm humbled. Love it. The generosity. I also love the money, but who wouldn't? Anyways, $2 super chat from Alex Rudd. I'm submitting $2 because I'm a peasant. Psh, don't be calling yourself a peasant, man. Oh, God, I hate when people like, not not something, anything that you did, but when, when, when trolls come in and they start dropping the money card, like, oh, you don't like it because you can't afford it. Get off your ass and get a job. Fuck you. Like, that's, mm-mm, I will ban people for that. In Discord and in the youtube comment section i will ban your ass if if people start playing the money card like that that stuff pisses me off you're giving you have no obligation to me whatsoever to give me anything not a single penny so the fact that you're giving me 200 pennies thank you you're doing what you can like hell yeah oh rick salazar where can you buy beamed up hats that is a good question. <laughs> There's a link in the descriptions of the previous videos that are not live streams that will Eden, yes, it is a live stream. <clears throat> that will take you to the store online where most of the beamed up merch can be found and the hats should be there. They should be viable. I'd have to look at that again to make sure I, I included them as a listing, but Alex Xavier, stop messing with them. Yes, it is a live stream. <laughs> Keep on jacking. <laughs> Damn, I'm so behind. Jared. Oh, did you really? No way. Thank you, dude. Hell yeah. Oh, dude. Another $5 super chat from uh, from Sean Chinsoon. Just saying, love your channel. You're awesome. I love your contribution. And your presence, and you're awesome. Thank you. People are donating on their own behalf. Exactly. I'm not going to ask for shit. I'm not going to ask for handouts. Just like, just like. And if anybody has an, whoop, 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 missed one. Diamond Heat two dollars. Don't ever consider yourself a peasant. See, there you go. Now, I don't ever ask people to hit that red button, and. Most of you have probably heard this before, but even if you have it, <clears throat> number one, I find it annoying when I hear other creators do it because we're a value prop. Like you, sometimes they ask you for a subscription and a like button, and they haven't even started going into the content yet. It's like, where's the value prop, man? You have what have you given me that makes me compelled to like press that for you and do you the favor? No, so I just do what I do, and if people like it, they like it, and obviously. But they they do. (laughs) They do. I like it too.
Let's get Taylor that foldable. Actually, Derek, uh, the Scotty Stuart Glover, he's going to pre-order it. Not for me, but for his, for himself. So when he gets it, I will be doing a review of it with him. Can be, that's a good idea. In the a day in the life of vlogging with phones, I might do that when I get the S10 because I'm really trying to get Samsung's attention. I am really trying to get Samsung's attention. And it's really hard. Because there was one guy who was like a family vlogger and he's got like 1,200 subscribers. And he, all he did was comment on a Casey Neistat tweet. He's like, man, I wish I had one of those. And then Samsung's like, well, actually, DM us ASAP. We might have a, we have a surprise for you. And I'm like, look at what I've been doing for the past like two years. And yeah, but ah, it's a moment in time. Right eye saw it at the right time and it was in the right place, yada, yada, yada. Joe Schmo, $1.99. Thank you for that. And it's because you don't ask for it and converted me. Thank you. It's greatly, greatly appreciated, man. I really, really am glad. Thankful, grateful. But yeah, getting Samsung's attention, not an easy thing to do. I think maybe the... Oh, hold on. Eden Kulasik. Kulasik? I think you should go on their channel and comment on there. That's how you get Samsung's attention. Just not not just doing your videos. Go to their comments and all my other videos. I think that's actually a good idea. I'd have to find the official US-based version of their of them. But I do, like, say I take, you know, the S10 video? I took that whole thing and I went in and found, oh, chop, chop. There's a little section, little section, little section. There was like 12 of those little bitty minute or less video clips that I then all exported separately. And then I'm just like throwing them out on, on Twitter constantly, tagging them with every single one. So it's not just like, I mean, I think the first time I asked, they just thought I was like some schmo that was asking for a handout. But the more I just throw out the stuff on Twitter and on Instagram, the more they know that I'm not just some dude who wants free shit. Like I'm doing the work. <laughs> like I'm serious about it. Been serious about it for years. <clears throat> Eden, you're right. It is called Samsung US. <gasps> $5 super chat from Landa Cibro Pericord Design, who is also already a, uh, a patron. 25 amp brick in the box, supercharged 2.0, also going to upgrade to Scotty next month. Hey! Sweet! <clears throat> Scotty's like the, the the most that one can, can pledge on a month to month basis. Yeah, Alex read. I know, I know. And then one person like just asks, and they just proceed. That's why I said moments of time. Like the right person saw it at the right time, just got lucky. Um, Duke Dizzy, I'm not subbed to PewDiePie, or actually, you know, I might be, but I don't watch this stuff. I hardly watch any YouTube besides Gary V. There was a question that I'm trying to. Ultra Sarker. Scotty is a patron on Patreon that pays $10 a month. Lena you know on the ends of every single video. Uh, and you do the, and it, it shows that bing, and then like all those those names come up, those are the Scotties. And they get a verbal and a visual shout out on the end of every video. Oh yeah, somebody asked me what flavor I have. It's called Wolf Mother. It's like it's like a blueberry-ish. Blueberries and cream, or something like that. I need to get. Uh, I need to get more. Man, I'm having fun. When I think foldable tech will become more affordable. <laughs> Red gamer, welcome. Red gamer is also a member on our Discord too. Eden, want to see me one day? Well, I mean, if you're in the Dallas Fort Worth area in Texas at any time, you know how to get a hold of me. There's like all almost all the contact info. <laughs> in the descriptions of the videos. So let me know if you're in the area. I am 100% down. Stuart Glover is actually the only the only person 
who I didn't previously know before doing this that found me here and happened to live in Fort Worth and came and met me. That's the only time it's happened, but I think it'd be fun. Jesse Lamerson asked Jimmy LS promo to see what he would recommend about getting Samsung's attention. Perhaps I will. Thank you. This question, when do you think foldable? Oh yeah, will foldable tech become more affordable? It's just a matter of time. I think next year it won't be as expensive. Although with the passage of time, one has to consider inflation too, at least in the US, because you know, 10 years ago, it would never have seen a phone that's over however many hundreds. Way cheaper than they are now. So over time, it's going the 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 um, value of money, regardless of inflation, will become less to get the same thing. I will say it like that. Oh, there's so many like up. Oh, anything we can do to help contribute to the videos? Ultra soccer. <clears throat> you could be. Hmm. Hmm. You could you could just become a beamer. That's like one dollar a month on Patreon. So I mean I know I totally understand if you don't want to be like 10 bucks a month. Like I'm not gonna go asking for that. But if you if you wanna if you wanna know that you are contributing in some way, just a little bit, then that's probably the best way to do it. Oh, diamond heat. Yeah, man. See, it's like mm, the internet. Like it, it, it virtually brings people together, but but as far as like spatially, hmm. thoughts on the tab S5e. I've already given those, but in the nutshell, I like it, and I I'm, I will be able to. I have a way to get it after it gets launched. So, <clears throat> um, can't wait to. There will be a, re a review of video about it, and by the time I get the S the tab S5e. Because some very, very kind person is going to provide me one. And as soon as I get that, I'm back. Cool. I didn't, it still was moving on my screen. I didn't realize that it, that it froze on y'all's end. Eden, I think she's left. But I think, did y'all see, did y'all hear my thing about if you wanted to support without spending any money? And I'll wait for your answers because I got to end this stream. Is it still frozen? Okay, cool. So I'm, I am, okay, cool. Now that I'm not frozen anymore, <clears throat> if Two of y'all asked me if there was a way for you to support the channel. And at first I was like, oh yeah, Patreon. But if it's a way, there's a way that you can that you can actually give me something that I value more than just your patronage. And that is on my Twitter profile, there are several tweets that are at Samsung Mobile US that is asking basically, hey man, what's the take? For me to, to make sponsored videos for me all because that's like a like one of the dreams of this entire channel if you could retweet that at samsung mobile us that would be amazing i would love that that way you don't have to spend a dime i would prefer that instead of your money actually because if enough people retweet that doom, boom 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 they get hit 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 and they're like who is this guy then they may finally give me the two or three minutes from them for of their attention that I need to 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 start doing something for them. With that being said, it is time to end the stream. I want to extend a humongous like this is by far the <clears throat> NB. It's it's beamed up. Same thing as this. Let's go on Twitter and look that up if you want to. This has been by far and away the the most super chat money that I've ever received during a live stream, period. And I'm 
intensely grateful. Like, I don't know the proper way to express all of the gratitude that's spewing out of my brain right now. Extreme Ham, apparently I don't live stream enough. This is the first time in a long time. So a humongous thank you to all those who who lended your personal, financial, and social media support in advance, just in case, for those of you who are intend to. And stay beaming.